This is Samuel Pepys. He is best known for keeping a diary about his life, which he wrote in the 1660s. But who was Samuel Pepys? He was born in London in 1633. Pepys's father was a tailor and his mother ran a busy household. Pepys worked hard at school, which meant he could go to university in Cambridge. Pepys moved back to London and started keeping his diary in 1660, writing about what he did every day. He also started working as an administrator for the Navy. Pepys's job was to see that the Navy ships and sailors had everything they needed. His job meant he met lots of important people, including King Charles II. In his diary, Pepys wrote about all the different people that he talked to and met in London. He included his secret thoughts and his bad behaviour. This all makes his diary great for understanding what life was like in 17th century London. Pepys's diary tells us about major historical events like the coronation of Charles II, the Great Plague and the Great Fire of London. Pepys was worried that his house might burn down too. He even buried his valuable cheese and wine and some other things in the ground to protect them from the fire. Luckily, Pepys' office and house survived the Great Fire and the diary did too. Once he stopped writing his diary in 1669, he still did lots of interesting things. He was an MP, did more important Navy work, and was even arrested for treason. Because he wanted his diary to be secret, Pepys wrote it in shorthand to make it difficult for people to read. Shorthand uses symbols instead of letters, so you have to know what the symbols mean to understand it. Many years later, when Pepys was an old man, he decided that he did want people to be able to read his diary after he died. He arranged for his diary and his other books to be kept safely by his old college in Cambridge. The diary was there for a hundred years before people realised how to read the symbols and understood that Pepys had kept a secret diary. The diary is still there today.